Emily Lou here. Today I'm going to draw you a fish tank. How cool is that? I thought I've always wanted I've always wanted a fish tank and I've never been able to get one. So I'm going to draw you a fish tank. We need pen, uh, paper and we need a pencil. I want to show you a picture that I'm just going to Oh, I just wanted to show you a really cool Where is it? It's a swordfish. So I did a swordfish. So in a card because I turned them into cards. But not only that, not only that, but I also did. Oh, you know when you look for something and you just can't find the actual thing. I did a really cool. I did a really cool fish. I just don't know where it is. Ah, ah! There it is. How cool is that fish? He's just cool. He's chilling out. He looks awesome. Let's go. Right, think about a fish tank you could do round, but I really like the idea of doing it rectangle just because I think I've done a video on a fish tank, but I can't remember where. I don't know if I did it on a YouTube thing. Well, either way, this is a, a rectangle fish tank. So we're going to do a nice straight line across, trying to use a pencil that works. Now we want to get this as super straight as you can. So mine's probably not that straight, but try and get yours straight if you can. Now we want this to look 3D. So we're going to go, you know, you know, and then join it up. Don't worry if you've got that bit there, you can rub that out. So it's like a cube, it's like a box, but we also want to make the bottom bit look like a box. So we're going to go up, up. And then what you want to do is, you know the corners, you go down, down, you should be able to join it up. But if you can't join it up, don't even worry, because we're going to cover most of it, but it just gives you an idea that it's a cube. And we're going to put a glass, like it looks like glass on it, which would be really cool. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to make sure you can see me follow. Right, okay, so first of all, you wouldn't get an octopus in your tank unless you had a huge tank, but I wanted to draw an octopus. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a really big there. So think about a shape that looks like a big, kind of almost like an egg or something. And then we're going to do this. You're going to touch this bit here, and you're going to go, whoa. And this is going to be a tentacle. So do you know how many legs octopuses have? So I get confused, but it's eight because it's octagon, like an octopus. Eight is octo, kind of in Latin. And then you're going to do another one. Oh. Now you want eight, but you don't have to show that there's eight. So what we could do is we've got a squiggly one there that is against the tank. If you can't do them, just think, have one there. There's one, and it's behind him, so it's fine. There's another one. So how many have we done now? One, two, three, four, five. You could do one here. And they could be twirly as well. Four. Now he's got eight, but as I say, you could just do them coming up from here. He could be sitting on one of them. So it doesn't matter. You could do one here, just coming out like that. There we are, so he's got kind of eight going on there. Now I'm going to do a cartoon little eye. A bit like Nemo, finding Nemo where the tank was full of things, it's really fun. So there's my octopus. Now for my fishes, I want to do them up here, but I thought it'd be really cool to do like a, a treasure chest. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a square, like a rectangle. And then I'm going to go, oh. So it's a rectangle and then and then I'm going to do, it's kind of like the lines of it. If you can't do that, don't worry, it's just a little treasure chest, that's all it is. And these lines might confuse you, so don't worry too much. Do a little lock on it, because that's pretty cool, isn't it? And then what I want to do is like, we're going to have some rocks here. So rocks. 
Do not worry about these lines because they're not going to come into place till we start colouring them. And then with the rocks, you can do some cool reeds. And you could do the reeds after you do the fish if it helps you more. So just wobbly lines is fine. Yeah. Then I want to do some fish. Now I'm going to do like a shape like that and then a shape like that for one of them. And then next to that, I'm going to do an oval. Next to that, I'm going to do an oval. These aren't going to be realistic fish. I kind of want to do a cartoony thing. So we've got some lips on its side that's like a heart. Then these two, they're going to be friends. So they're going to have lines like that with a little O. Hello. <laughs> and this is going to be with another O. Could be a daddy fish with the baby and the mummy. Then I kind of want to do a fin. And then you've got the tail. And then this one, like you can make however you want. You can make some, make some really cool ones. It doesn't have to be real, it's fine. Doing the tail. I'm doing this super fast, so just pause the video if it's a little bit tricky. I don't want to add all the detail in because I just think as soon as you've got the basics of what you've got, you can add all details. You can add whatever you like. Now, you can add any fish. You could do the tank and do whatever you want in the tank. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Now, I want it to look like glass, this tank, so I'm going to do this. So it's just a line to make it look like a glass tank. Now, because it's got thickness to it, I'm going to draw a rim round it. Ah. And because there's a line, like, because... Because you don't see this, because everything's behind it, you're going to get a rubber and you're going to rub out whatever you don't see because it's in the way. So you wouldn't see this line where the fish is. I think my laptop's overheating, so you can probably hear it going. Hopefully you can't. I think you probably can, can't you? <laughs> Just ignore it for now. Ignore the noise. Now, can you see I'm doing the lines? I'm rubbing out all the lines where you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see it in the treasure chest either. I think the laptop makes noise because the lighting I have, the lighting I have is very hot. So anything inside that octopus, you would not see those lines. Whoa. So think, anything you've drawn after you've drawn the tank, you do not need those lines. We're nearly there actually. I'm really enjoying this fish tank. Probably because I really want one. I really want a fish tank. I want a puppy as well, but that's not going to happen just yet. Okay, fish tank. Right, all you want to do now, it's really fun now because you can be like, ooh, I want my fish to be pink. So I'm going to get chalk, but you can have any colour you desire. I can do them the same. I'm going to do pink chalks and blue. Yeah, and then your smudge. That looks really cool. <laughs> I really like. I like making my pictures look fun. You know, if they look funny and you want to laugh, then that's a really cool thing because otherwise it's just a normal picture. Do you know what? I'm going to do lines for him and he's going to have blue fins. So you could outline everything. Yeah, so you can make every single thing whatever you want. Especially because it's you get beautiful coloured fishes, don't you? Now, octopus, I'm going to do purple just because I like something a bit different. So I'm going to outline all of my octopus. Oh, that's like the best purple I've ever seen. How cool is that purple? So you could do any colour. You do not need to do it this purple. You could do it a red, you could do it a yellow, you could do it a brown. Any colour you want. Right, I'm going to smudge them. 
this makes him look more like he's 3D. Now mine looks weird because I've put I've rubbed it out with Tip X, but you've got a rubber, so you'll be fine. You also look awesome. There's my beautiful octopus. Now the reeds are green in here, but I probably want to choose a nice green, don't I? Because that green is not my favourite. So a really cool green. Take your time, like pause the video. I'm doing this super fast because I'm concerned that um, my laptop might go a bit funny. Ooh, I like that. So really. Oh, my nose is itchy. <laughs> right, now think about the treasure chest. What colour would that be? I quite like the idea of it being yellow. Plus we haven't got much yellow in the picture, have we? And I would go as far as to say, do a bit of an orange on there. And you could just outline it. I'm going to outline it in orange. Just so it shows up. You could smudge it as well. Okay, cool. Now, I think my computer's okay. <laughs> so okay, it's okay. This is what happens when you have lighting that makes everything hot. And I can feel my computer's hot. Right, now, if you want to, which I probably would if I'm honest, I like doing yellowy sand at the bottom. It just adds something to the picture because it's yellow. It looks kind of cool. You can add Nemo in there. You can do whatever you like. Now, this is going to be blue because I want to show that it's in water. So you're going to outline, quite chunky, all of your fish tank in blue. Do not worry about what's there. I only outline the cube and inside here. Okay, now what you want to do, this is really important, get your one finger that's clean. <laughs> now you want to smudge, because it's all blue inside there, and now you've got to be super careful when you smudge. But you kind of almost want to smudge over your things, but not too much, because you might make a mistake. But because it's underwater, it's okay if it does smudge a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Meow, meow. Right, so it's good that this bit's white because you want to make it look like it's glass. I would do one tiny thing. I would just go round there dark because the edge of the glass is normally a little bit darker. Yeah, and just draw around with your finger. Ta-da! <laughs> There's my fish tank. I'm going to get a bit carried away now and get a darker blue and outline the blue. I really like that fish tank and if I have a fish tank I may get those type of fish. So enjoy, enjoy doing your fish tank, let me know how you get on, I really love seeing your pictures. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.